Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part we made it here to the Skyview Temple, and in this part we are gonna explore it more, obviously. Excuse me, because that's what we do with temples. Obviously. Ha derp. Ah! You dick. Master, I detect targetable objects in your immediate vicinity. That's not what I wanted to ask you about, Fi! If you press down on the D-pad while targeting a person or object with Z, I will provide you with information on that subject. Yes, we've already determined this. Thank you. So, as I was saying... Target lock. Skulltula. This giant species of spider inhabits the deepest areas of forests. It attacks with highly adhesive webbing in order to prevent its prey from escaping. It has a tough outer carapace, but its stomach may be vulnerable to attack. I am currently conducting additional analysis into its movement patterns. Psh, movement patterns. Well, let's see if we can knock it onto its back then. Aye. Okay, shield bashing it does not work. Ow. There we- Ow! Link! You suck. Now I need to find hearts. Yes, Fi, I'm dying. I get it. Also, I see you there, crawl space. Just hoping these Waltolas have uh, hearts inside them. That would be a soul... a slow? I don't even know what I was trying to say there. That would be a large bag of nope. Yay! One hearts. Now I only have to put up with... Mm, well, still an annoying beeping sound. But, uh, I have less of a chance of dying immediately. That's... good. Also, how is this... how is this grass growing on stone? Hi. Doink. I should really, uh, find a place that will give me more Deku Seeds, because I have one remaining. Alright, you bastard of a spider. <laughs> stab it! There we go. I've learned my lesson. Stab, not splat. Splash! Yes. Are you going to give me information? No! Are you going to give me information on the stone tablet? That is a stone tablet. Depending on the location and intentions of the original author, important messages can be permanently chiseled on them. Alright, that's- Ah! God damn it! That's most helpful, Fi. Now, I'm pretty sure there's something that can be shot around here. With my one remaining seed. Because if there isn't, then uh, I am currently at a loss as to what to do. I remember this room gave me a lot of trouble the first time I played it. And, uh... This is basically my second first time playing it, so it may give me trouble again. Let me uh, see what's in the crawl space again, see if there's anything I can shoot here. That would be a yes. I see you there, Switch. Doink. And now we have flooding in the main room, not, not this room. Oh, and this room. Okay. Nope, no hearts. No Deku Seeds either, but I wasn't really expecting there to be any of those. Um. Okay, looks like I can't really progress further here. Can I have some freaking hearts, please, game? I see you over there, Waltala. Ra 
I could do. I really wish that the swimming was faster in this game. I really wish that the people outside weren't using loud tools or being loud tools. Um. Oh, jump onto the log, Link. Oh, God! Really, Link? That, that's, that's how we're gonna play it? Eh. On. You still can't jump off, can you? You can! Haha! <laughs> I don't have a key. Damn it! Oh, I can go in here. Okay. And that opens the door above. That makes sense. Yay! Are there gonna be hearts in there? Because I'm getting really sick of this sound effect playing every two seconds. Maybe a second and a half. Which is even more annoying, obviously. Hi. Greenbow Coblin. Seeds! Yay! My savior! Heart? Ruby. Well, I almost have enough rupees to afford the extra wallet. Don't want... Excuse me, doink! And... Oh, wow. Missing. Doink. Pretty sure we can't, uh, access... I, I'm, I'm not sure if we can pass the spider webs yet until the, uh... Until we get behind them. Okay, that was pathetic. Arts! Nope. Arts! On game. Oh, <sighs> this is just gonna go on the entire episode, isn't it? Signs point to yes. There we go. Hello, Quadrababa. Fuck. I see a heart behind you. You are going to perish. And I am going to have that heart. And a second one for good measure. Thank you. Gaze upon your map until your eye finds the X. For it is there that you must strike a glittering gemstone to reveal a path. You shall find a temple map in a room with two such gemstones. Cool. Stab. Stab. Yay. God. Link! How am I missing with those? There we go. And... Stab. Stab. Yay, good. Good boy, Link. Now, if you would hit... If you would kindly hit the bottom of that, thank you. Jeez. Ah, oh, whatever. So in here, we appear to have... something important. Is this the map? Yeah, you got the dungeon map! It shows the layout of the area and reveals unexplored rooms. Yay. It's it's very map-esque. It also reveals the location of treasure chests, so be sure to take a look. Does that mean that the compass isn't a thing in this game? I don't remember that. Master, I have information for you. You have obtained a map of this area. You can view it by pressing plus. 
the position of doors and their locks, as well as the position and status of treasure chests, can be confirmed on the map with marks such as X. However, be aware that you will be unable to use beacons here due to the indoor nature of this environment. Okay, I wasn't planning on using beacons, but thanks. Um... So, there are two more switches, apparently. Um... Going back in this room, I guess. Because there's also a treasure chest in I A treasure chests, yes. God damn it, webs! Huh! Get Link! Stop getting stuck in every web that exists! Oh, right, this is the... God damn it, I'm stupid. Wrong room. Because I can't go through there until it's fully flooded. So let's go back in here, I guess. See if there's anything I missed in here, because apparently there is. Uh... So, if I am reading the map correctly, which is unlikely, then there should be a switch right here. Ha-ha! In your face, science! I don't know why I said that, but, you know, stuff. So now we can find out the rest of what's in that other room. I guess I just have to do something in the main room. That is my best guess in this instance. Because I'm pretty sure the key is in that room, but... Oh, now I can go here. Okay. A doink. Uh, what? Link! Actually, go on to the vines, you fool. Ah, d d Link! Log! Herp. There we go. Hey, Rupee. Rupee. Ah, here we go. Here's how we get to the other part of this room. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ignore you for now, Skulltula. Except I'm not, actually. Oh. Step, step, step. There we go. Good boy. Hello there, eye switch of eye switchness. Ah! Stop swinging your sword like a madman. Come on. Just need to be in a position where I can. where they're both open. There we go. Was that so hard, Link? Alright. So this should be a small key. You got a small key. This key will open a locked door. You can only use it in this area. Okay, I need to stop with the grass cutting. I like how I gave Jordan shit for like the entirety of Wind Waker for uh, going out of his way to cut grass, and yet I'm doing the same thing in this game. Yay, hypocrisy. So, uh, now we can finally go through this door. And the lock goes inside of Link's foot. Or possibly the other way around. I, I don't know. Eh. Well, there's a uh, crystal switch. I should probably hit that. Hi, doink. Yay. Um... 
Wow, I n I'm just now realizing how freaking tiny this dungeon is. Also, there's a bird statue over there. Cool. Hi, Keese. How you doing? Actually, hitting the Keese is uh, a pretty good thing to do. God damn it, Link. Hit the Keese. Swing your sword wildly if you have to, but hit the Keese. Alright, in here, if I'm not mistaken, should be... A thingus. Yeah, this looks like a thingus. Oh, I forgot that it was this thingus. Target lock, Stalfos. This skeleton soldier is born of the dead. In its previous life, it was an ordinary knight, but underneath... Underneath? But undeath has improved its combat abilities. It is possible to overpower it with a well-timed shield bash during the creature's attack. Yeah, I haven't killed any of them. Yay. Ow! Yeah, who needs shield bashes? When you've got treasure chests that spawn almost on top of you. Is this what I think it is? You got the beetle. The unexplained power contained within, contained within this insect-shaped item allows you to control it as it flies through the air. Point the Wii Remote at the screen and press A to launch it into the air. If the controls feel out of alignment, press down on the D-pad while pointing the Wii Remote at the center of the screen. So yeah, that's that's the beetle, also known as the most annoying item in Smash Brothers, other than a certain other item, which is also from this game. You have acquired a new item. Analysis of this object's insect-like profile and wings indicates it can fly. Tilt the Wii Remote to remotely pilot the device. The sharp structure on the front of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to smaller objects. To launch the device, press B to ready it for takeoff, then press A. Yay. Beetle. I don't want to actually use it yet. God, Link. Jeez. There is... Oh, I was going to say there's no reason for me to use it, but there... There is, uh... I, I kind of need a way out of here. So, let us... Go through our good friend the spider web. Ow. Come on, Beetle, you can do it. Go, 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 gotta go crash into walls. Which then immediately uh, brings it back to you for some reason. Spiderweb again, because can, and doink, and that opens the door again. Yay, door! No, I always, always forget that putting away items is B, because it was A in Twilight Princess. So, with our newly acquired beetle, we uh, should be able to do slightly more things. Like break this box, for example. Let's just, uh... Ooh, hello, red rupee. Oh, apparently that's all that I can... I can only do one thing at a time with the beetle. So, second box. Just completely ignore the keys. Ooh, bunch of muns. Wow, whole bunch of muns. Ignore the green book goblins. Ignore the book goblins. And grab the money. Yay, riches. Wow, 
Wow, I'm gonna be able to afford a whole bunch of shit after I'm done with this dungeon. Um, is there anything else that is important in this room? The heart piece? Hi. Okay, how do I get you? I assume that there's gonna be something at the top of this, or near the top. Do, do, do. What the? Why is it overheating? Why is that a thing? It's not supposed to do that. It's also not supposed to go at an angle. But I can. I saw earlier. Ow! Oh, come on! Run right into the thing. We Here we go. Doink. Heart peace. Okay, so... Question now becomes, is this gonna be like Twilight Princess where there are two heart pieces in every dungeon? Or is there just gonna be one? These are important questions that I need the answers to. So over there is a locked door. And... Is there anything at all preventing me from going into the other door? They're really sh Yeah, there we go. But I can... Probably. It looks like I can pilot the beetle into the other room. So I'm gonna do that. Hi there. <laughs> okay, good. That worked. Yay. We going through the door. Oh. Oh, this is a thing? Or possibly a person or place. Well, there's an amber relic there, which is, you know, obses obsessible. It, it is, I was going to say accessible and obtainable, and it just turned into obsessible, I guess. But yes, it is now accessible slash obtainable. Now that I've got the beetle going. More flooding! My favorite. Uh, gonna check what's in this room first. Looks like a treasure chest, obviously. Because, you know, treasure chest. Which is probably gonna contain a key. Ah! Hi. <laughs> what to do? Do I, like, distract it with the beetle? Doink. That would be a no. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, but I didn't, so that's a thing. Just swipe upwards, apparently. Okay, I get I guess I have to do all three at once. So top one, if you would kindly open, that would be very nice. Top one. Uh, oh, I have to be on higher ground. Okay, it makes it makes sense. I'm just a dumb. Yes, I had to try that. 
Doink. Oh, okay. Anything else? There's a web. Does the web do anything? That looks like a no. But there's another box. So I gotta get the box. Boink. Oh boy. Actually, I probably do need those, so... Yay, Hirts. I like Hirts. They are good. They are very good to me. <laughs> and push it some more. Oh. And then push it the other way. This looks like it should work. Nope, it's a bit, uh, bit more to the right. There we go. Ay, 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 ay. Up. Here we go. That's right, game. I can figure out your tricks. It may take a while sometimes, but I can figure out your tricks. You got a small key. Alrighty. So that's that. Um, why am I going back up? Sigh. All right, so that will allow us, oh wait, we can now go up here as well. <laughs> no, no, no getting stuck in the thing. Oh, hi. <laughs> Even when I know what to do, these things don't, these things are annoying. Okay, that totally hit it. Absolutely. All right. So, as I was saying, rather than doing any th actually just want to see if there's anything new that opened up here due to flooding. Um, signs point to no, and now I have to get back up. So as I was saying, rather than continuing on with uh, the dungeon, I'm actually going to leave temporarily. Pointer. Actually going to leave temporarily. And, uh, go and visit Beetle over in Skyloft and, uh, buy a whole bunch of shit. Because I like buying shit. To the sky! Master Link, when you hit that goddess, goddess cube with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. Why didn't you tell me about this when I hit the cube? The location I have marked on your map indicates the spot where I sensed an energy reaction. Okay, how about the other one? Yay. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. I will do that momentarily. First, I need to buy things. Greetings, Beetle. I would like to purchase things. Firstly, an extra wallet. Yes, 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 I understand. Yes, yes, I understand. I would like to purchase it. You got the extra wallet. Your wallet can now hold an additional 300 rupees. Thank you! Oh! It really suits you! I'm actually surprised that that 
doesn't go in my uh, my adventure pouch. Cool. Yay. And bug net. Fitty rupee. You got the bug net. Use it to catch bugs and other small things. When you're hunting bugs, remember to approach quietly and strike quickly. Yay. Thank you! Yes, yes, yes. Oh! Thank you ever so much! You've given me the strength to keep pedaling. So, let's see if he gets anything new when we go back inside. Well, there's another extra wallet, which is probably going to be 600 rupees now. Yeah, extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. La 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 la. Oh no, it's a hundred rupees again. Yeah, sorry. Why did I think it would be six hundred? It's only one hundred normally. That right there is a bug medal. As long as you're carrying that, you'll be able to see on your map where bugs can be found. Quite expensive, but if you like catching bugs, it's indispensable. I'll sell it for a thousand rupees. Want to buy it? No. Yeah, we, we don't have the ability to carry that many rupees. Oh, please wait a moment. Do you know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Then you have the gall to leave without buying anything? Off with you! Wow, what an asshole. Um, excuse me? No, no cyclones. This is not Wind Waker. I do not I am not playing the Ballad of Gales. I just want to get this treasure chest here. Yeah. Yeah. Hep. Ow, that was my face. So, as you can see, now that we've struck Zigotis Cube, now we can open this chest. Because it's blue now. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart capacity by one. Just one more. Yay. Time to head to the other one. Herp a derp. Yes, I did have to land on top of it. I don't know why. Ah! Yay. Uh, time to kill some pumpkins. For no reason other than because money. So now that we are done committing our pumpkin genocide, let's uh, grab our our goddess cube chest. Ooh, you made your adventure pouch. Nope, that's that's yellow text. You made your adventure pouch bigger. You can now fit an additional item inside. Fantastic! Now I don't have to buy another one from Beetle. Except I'm gonna buy another one from Beetle anyway. And, um... That, that's a bird statue. I could go inside here. Screw it, I'm gonna go inside here. I really don't... I, I shouldn't be doing this. Because we have a dungeon to attend to still. Heart piece! Want! No, Link, don't don't look around befuddledly. Grab the heart piece from the lumpy pumpkin, apparently. I don't like you. You can go away. I don't want to talk to you. But come on now. Link? Uh, can I use the beetle? I cannot use the beetle. Come on, I know I've gotten this heart piece before. Whatever, we'll come back to that later at some point. Next time on Skyward Sword, we're going to be finishing up the Skyview Temple. And then possibly coming back here. But uh, I make no guarantees on that. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you then.
Take care, everybody. Geronimo! <laughs>